Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Maggie and I post practical spoken English tips and phrases here on this channel. Nice to meet you here. Some of you might know that I started this channel back in 2017. So it's been six years now. I realized I never told you guys or showed you guys how I make these YouTube videos from start to finish. So I wanted to show you guys this entire process with an awesome visual note-taking app called Scrintle. For me, I use this board for my YouTube channel. So what you can see here, I created a board on my upcoming YouTube video schedule. Each main card is um, a video idea and I could rename the board into, um, for example, the week that is going to be published. This way, my mind is so clear, everything is in the mind map and I can visualize everything. So for me, it's so much easier for me to remember everything. To create a new card, you can simply click on the add button and uh, click on card and you see that little button, you toggle over to the board and you click. That's going to be your card and you can move it anywhere you can with your mouse or your finger. Uh, on the trackpad. To delete, you can simply just click on the card and hit the delete button on your keyboard. As you guys can see, to um, color code your cards, it's very simple. Click on the card and you'll see all these options in the toolbar and one of them named change color. And then you can just simply change color. Let's go inside of this one, Shun Lu, which is what I'm working on. Um, I want to give you guys an idea of what I do after I have focused on one video idea. So the first thing that I do is I create a card, this one, on uh, where I got this video idea from. Because when it's an inspiration from the comment section, I like to give credit. And if you double click into it, you will see all sorts of um, backlinks and what it appears in. For me, this is very important because I have posted hundreds of videos on YouTube already. So sometimes I would forget if I've done this one or not. So in the future, once I've got more stuff onto my Squinto board, I would know um, it's easy for me to reference what I have done or what I have not. So after I have decided where it came from, I like to do three things, which in my opinion is what makes my video um, kind of unique and mine. The first thing is my take. I would search my mind. I would go um, you know, crazy on all of my uh, brain storage, if you will. I will usually come up with, uh, first of all, a sample conversation or situations in which this word might occur. So that's my take on this. And um, after this, what I do is I like to go online. For example, in this specific video, um, I went on Google and I searched so I have a result page I'd like to put in here um, to add multimedia. It's very easy. You can see this little plus sign, click on it and you would see all these options. Yes, it's so awesome. Um, if you want to upload an image, click upload and select in my, I just took a screenshot so it's easy for me to find and they would be uploaded into this area. You can make it bigger simply just by dragging the box, or you can just make the whole entire board bigger with your trackpad, with your fingers. So this is where I usually come up with my uh, video title is in the direct translation. Um, because oftentimes when you put in a Chinese phrase and you use direct translation, that is not what you use in everyday conversations or, you know, regular spoken English. So that's where I come up with my video titles. And also um, sometimes I would have links pasted. For example, this first um, Sohu.com results, I went inside and read it and I would paste this right here if there's something that I want to take out of it. And I would like to put it right here so that, you know, when I reorganize my thoughts, 
I have somewhere to reference. And when you search, sometimes the search results will be in a PDF. And that's no problem too, because when you just click on add, you can add, upload a PDF. And if you just click on this, you can see your PDF right here, which is just awesome. I love this feature um, of Squintle. I just love how many options it is there because a lot of times in my profession, after I search, it would be a YouTube video or a Vimeo video online. And you can also easily add that by clicking on this option. For example, for this specific topic, I couldn't find any online video, um, but I am going to add one of my videos, <laughs> shameless plug, right here. That was my previous video. And you can just add it here. And now that I'm done with the second step, um, you can go on to the third step I usually do, which I call it English contact search. Personally, I think this is actually what makes my video uh, unique and worthy to watch um, because this is where my thought process comes in because once I found, you can say English translation, I like to um, search it in an English context. You can see this link here. I can easily go to this web, web page um, where I can read off of things related to this topic. For example, this one says, when is it acceptable to refuse to give someone a ride home from work? And this is where I would pick out um, the things that are mentioned in this article that's related to our specific topic, Shun Lu. So I would find that. And after these three steps, I usually come up with a pretty precise script. I say precise because I normally just kind of have um, talking points on here, um, not every single word that I'm going to say in the video. So this is going to be the script and now i've got the script done it's important to go back to our uh, main card and see the second one i have under there is filming equipment i wanted to share with you guys what i used to film with um, it's pretty basic i use the sony zv 10 and a um, sigma lens um, and i just use a basic microphone and the tripod um, but what i want to tell you guys if you're just starting out on youtube um, this YouTube channel called Think Media is awesome. They have a lot of videos on equipment setup and stuff like that that you can learn from. And I like that they have options for their filming equipment. So I recommend this um, YouTube channel, Think Media. And now we're done with the filming equipment. One thing you do have to notice um, to keep in mind in YouTube is your music. Copyright in um, YouTube videos, you do not want to get copyrighted, trust me, because then all your hard work will be uh, going away because you're copyrighted. So Epidemic Sound, as you can see the link here, is a great one because um, once you're a member with Epidemic Sound, you can use all their awesome music. And last but not least, your thumbnail. As you can see here, I've posted some thumbnail inspo for my videos. I like these um, to look at some thumbnail designs. Usually I like to keep it clean and uh, clear, uh, just my face and some, uh, you know, enticing words on there um, to, you know, just draw audience in. Now, once all that is done, it's pretty much time to publish and I just really like that and when I got all these done I usually like to go back here and come up with my uh, videos title and description box so as you can see here I have added a basic description box and uh, title and one more thing I like to do in my main card is to put in a hashtag I will I like to do uh, vid ideas so once you've added that hashtag, um, you can click on it and see what other cards are out there. So that is wonderful because then you can also cross check 
if you have had that idea before or um, if you had a similar topic. And now that everything is done, another thing I want to share with you guys is if you go to the left to the toolbar here, I don't want to go into my board. I just want to check on my script. What I can do is simply just click on script. Yes, and you can have a preview of that card alone. You don't have to open up your entire board. Um, and that to me is really, really awesome. So that's how I make a YouTube video from start to finish. Scrinto is the best visual note-taking app I've ever used. I love how easy to use it is. If you guys are interested in trying out Scrinto, definitely use my code MAGGIE20 to take 20% off. I'll have their link and my discount code in the description box down below, also in the pinned comment, so you can find all those information there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.